many Lightroom users have embraced a RAW workflow. The extra information in a RAW file gives you a lot of extra information that can be used to create the best image. With minimal work, you can create a new image from the RAW file and then pass that file onto Perfectly Clear to optimize exposure and color. Remember, the adjustments you make in Lightroom are really just settings applied to the file. These adjustments are stored in a sidecar file or a database and don't actually get applied until you export or print a photo. Unfortunately, Adobe doesn't allow any third-party plugin vendors to write to this sidecar file, which contains the corrections to be applied to the original raw photo. The perfectly clear improvements must be added to a new, lossless quality copy of the image. Before you can work with the raw file, it needs to be interpreted into a high quality image that can be used by Perfectly Clear. In Lightroom, you should apply only minimal processing to the image before handing off to Perfectly Clear. If needed, you can make the following adjustments in Lightroom. Consider making any geometric adjustments such as rotating, straightening, or cropping first. Many lenses introduce additional issues to a photo. Take advantage of a lens correction preset if it's available for your camera and lens combination. This can remove any lens distortion and vignetting. You may also find that the upright adjustments are useful to compensate for any distortion caused by the camera's position. While in the lens correction module, you should also enable the chromatic aberration correction to remove any color fringe at the edges. If your RAW file suffers from major exposure issues, you can use the recovery tools in Lightroom, such as the Shadows and Highlights slider, to get a good base image. This step is optional and is only needed for RAW files that suffer from very poor exposure. You should also consider reducing the vibrance controls and instead use the color controls in Perfectly Clear. It's important that you don't choose the auto correction as this will provide Adobe corrections which will damage your photo, causing highlights to be lost and colors to be shifted and depth distorted. We want a pure image for Perfectly Clear to perform its real color corrections on. Also, the clarity and dehaze sliders can negatively affect how Perfectly Clear can enhance the image. To save time, you might find it useful to create a base Lightroom preset, one that zeroes out all the other adjustment sliders and makes these recommended adjustments with one click. Simply take an image that you've modified and locate the panel on the left. Find the preset section and click the plus sign to open a new dialog. In the new dialog box, choose all the options you want to store. I'll call this preset Perfectly Clear Base Image. It's now stored in my user presets and I can make all of these recommended adjustments with just one click. Now that the base image is optimized, let's hand it off from Lightroom to Perfectly Clear. While there are two ways to access Perfectly Clear in Lightroom, let's explore using the Edit In command. Select what to edit and copy file options if needed and click the Edit button. For a raw image, choose to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. This creates a new master file which Perfectly Clear can work with. Choose a TIFF or PSD file for the maximum quality. We recommend that you set the color space to sRGB. This is the native color workflow for the Perfectly Clear plugin. If you prefer to stick with Adobe RGB or Pro Photo RGB, that's okay too. It's just possible that your image might look a little more saturated. Be sure to set the bit depth to 16 bits to hand off the most information in the new file. Perfectly Clear has the most information to work with. We apply a special engine for 16 bit depth photos. It's important to note that most monitors aren't capable of displaying all 16 bits of information. This will produce more natural shadows and highlights. You can leave the resolution and compression settings at their default values. When ready, click the Edit button to send the image to Perfectly Clear. Perfectly Clear goes to work immediately, automatically correcting your photo. By default, the Details preset is applied. Select an appropriate preset or make any adjustments to your image. When you're satisfied with the enhanced image, click Save to process the image and return it to your Lightroom library. So, that's all there is to processing your raw images in your Lightroom library with Perfectly Clear. Be sure to watch the rest of our video tutorials to understand all of your options. Thanks for watching.